arriving today for anyone in the Bethel School District after both levies were rejected by voters in February. Yeah, Bethel was one of the only school districts in Pierce County that did not pass a levy in that election. That levy would have been worth $50 million in school funding. So you might be wondering, what does that really represent? That means music classes and drama clubs. And also all school sports now on the chopping block. Fox 13's Matt Markovich takes us there tonight. 21,000 students enrolled in the Bethel School District, the 17th largest district in the state. But 20% of its operating funds could be eliminated if voters don't approve a levy later this month, a second try in two months. In Mr. Geyer's band class, it's Do Re Mi. In Miss Dahl's orchestra class, they're learning Ode to Joy. But if a $50 million levy doesn't pass on April 26th, these classes at Camas Prairie Elementary will be eliminated, as will other non-core education programs district-wide like sports, the arts, and expect larger class sizes. Because we will not have the money, we will not be able to hire people, and we will not have the services as a result. 98% of the levy money goes to paying salaries of these programs. The state does not fund but the district thinks are important. The state funding really only pays for the absolute bare bones education that our kids get. In February, the same levy was rejected 56 to 44 percent, the only school district in Pierce County to see a levy failure that election. I think it failed because a lot of the parents don't know what the levy was for. Now the strategy is to get the parents to vote. Unfortunately, it was roughly 15 percent of our parents that voted in the first election. And we believe having more of them engaged right now is, is, is really what's going to help us, having their voices heard. And that, to me, probably points to some desperation. Says one elementary school parent. It needs to pass um, this time around, but I can understand the hesitancy of people wanting to pay additional taxes. The district is also retrying another technology levy that failed in February to replace 20,000 aging iPads, one for each student in the district. Funds don't go where they're supposed to. I've always voted yes, literally, up to probably this day. Um, but we have paid for things in the past, swimming pools probably twice in the last 40 years. We don't have one anywhere in our district. The levies are renewals done every four years. The property tax rate will be the same, but as property values increase, homeowners will be paying more. You know, activities could be going away, and these are activities that keep our children busy, that keep them active and engaged and learning. You heard that pool mention. Well, the district is saying that's a myth, saying that the board never intended to lie to the community about a swimming pool. Now, if the vote doesn't go well and cuts take place later this fall, the district has a chance to renew this levy again in 2023. In Spanaway, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.